record on this computer. Bone, we are recording. And uh, yeah, so who's here? Bow, are you here? Alex, are you here? Does anybody want to come on? Or I can just riff and rant on a couple things uh, for a sec, guys. Let me know. Let me know what you want to do. Oh, awesome, dude. Bow's here. Sweet. Let me bring on the man, the myth, the ledge. One sec, guys. I'm going to bring on the giggle factory. <laughs> I call Bow the giggle factory. Hello. Bow, what's up, buddy? Can you hear me? Hey, Tosh. What's up, bro? What's up, brother? Dude, how'd you do today, man? I saw you were kicking butt with these longs recently, man. Who who are you, dude? What did you do with Modern Rock? Dude, you're like a long trader now. <laughs> so that, that's the thing with trading, guys. It's like, you know, one, one moment, the shorts have the advantage. The next moment, the, sh uh, the longs have the advantage, right? And so these markets are just fucking insane. You got pumpers pumping anything regardless of chart broken chart doesn't matter to them so you have to keep that in mind um there's a famous saying that says the markets can remain irrational longer than you can stay solvent so remember that guys the markets can remain irrational longer than you can stay solvent yep so all these smart guys are getting killed these fundamental guys i said oh these companies are worthless like the gmes are worthless but you know what, man? They are worthless, but doesn't mean that you won't go broke and become worthless as well, right? <laughs> Val, the, the, th the thing that I'm so blown away, man, is like, I, I, I know we don't do, do this usually, but dude, I have to toot your own horn and Alex's for a second, man. You guys this last week and a half have been going like long. It's such the right time. It's like we finally like use our own teachings, right? It's like, dude, anytime all of us are warning against a short, it's like, why aren't we flipping long? But you guys have been doing it this week, dude. You know what? I, we, we, we should be going along a long, long time ago. Remember every time that there's a hot chicken play, we always say avoid, avoid warning, warning. Right. So all I did was went long every time I, I warned. Remember we always, <laughs> Alex did in his YouTube live is like, dude, I have to close my eyes and click the buy button, but you gotta adapt. Dude, that, that's what it is, man. It's like, why, why am I wasting these? You know, it's, we, sometimes we get, as a trader, we get too complacent. Meaning like it's the same old boring routine. And so we just get lazy sometimes because we, yep. we, we take for granted the fact that, you know, it's like we've been training a long time and this stuff is like, like basic instinct for us now, you know? Bro, Midtown's got it good. Whenever we all worn short, he just goes long. <laughs> Seriously, He's building man. accounts. That's, that's, that's exactly what, what you need to do. Just freaking, but I always said, if, man, if I had like a hundred bucks every time I worn a stock, I'd be fucking rich. You know, so um so instead of freaking just avoiding it and watching it and waiting for the short i'm like fuck why not go along and then short when it's broken and plus you know why i know a lot of the guys in the room are fucking always looking to short correct that's how people blow up so uh, by me setting the example of going long i hope it helps the entire room take notice that this is not a fucking short guys even bow is going long so I, i'm i'm not only making money going long actually i made more money going long than yeah like you guys even even alex bow like alex was longing load in the morning because he knew that th that this style right now is in the morning if you're short pre-market dude it's pretty much a bad idea right because these have so much range on them it's like where's alex's chart i know he posted but dude he was killing the freaking oh wait that was the short dude he hit it both sides freaking nut yeah He's sick in the head what, what you need to realize the line this. process works for longs and shorts guys Guys, look at this. This is what Alex did in the morning because he woke up so early and recognized what market conditions we we're in. This is a long. This is a long. Dude, this is what I'm talking about. And then when the process comes, look at what he did for the short. He flipped short and then he was able to capitalize on both sides once there was overhead come the open. Like, dude, this is not bias. This is the freaking chart and, 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 and style that we teach every day based on price action. It's not agenda, dude. It's the chart is literally telling you what you should be doing. And um, for the guys that are in MIC, I mean, the, the first bounce has been fucking a killer this week, huh, guys? On all these plays. Dude, it's definitely been the hot, it's been the hot play lately, man. It's been like the number one play, seriously. So, I mean, right now, today, everything tanked. But for the past two days, it's, I mean, the first bounce all day long, some of these stocks never never broke the major supports, right? And so we, we talk about VWAP. We talk about that. There's just so much to learn, guys. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I just can't repeat that within five minutes on the free webinar. But 
Um, one day alone in the main chat, you, you, the commentary alone. I mean, I, I'm really tired, guys. I mean, I've been up every day, very early this week doing this, uh, helping you guys. So this is kind of like I, I'm, I'm kicking back, and I'm, I'm glad that Tosh is taking over. So I love hearing him talk. <laughs> He's so animated. So <laughs> hey, man, you just sit back and eat a corn. Oh, God. God, this, this is my excuse idea. to do shit and <laughs> just to fucking <laughs> hang out in the webinar and make jokes. <laughs> I can just picture Bowner's flip flops right now, like diving balls deep into like a corn dog with mustard. <laughs> but guys, this is this is the shit that we're talking about, man. Seriously, this is the stuff that we're talking about. If you get too complacent in your trading and you think that you can just short this all day yesterday, guys, look at the range. I don't even want you to pay attention to the front side. Look at the dollar numbers. This is a wipe your account in one day type of chart. So notice this was my, this was my note from yesterday. So, you know, I was looking pre-market and this dude, I wrote this yesterday. That's why it's all the way back here. I was like, I'm waiting for a death candle or I don't get in. This is process, bro. Not one death candle, none, none, none. I didn't short this at all. And then once this happened, bro, you take it off screens and come zombie hour, this is something not to be fucked with. So when you can show, switch, show, show them yeah, pets. About? Show them pets, because I mean, you know, we always talk about blowing up on the short side, but you, you can blow up on the long side every single which, day. Which, which one, pets? Pets. If you do not know the lines, you know, do not know where to sell. If you do not know, not to average down, like CNBC says, right? CNBC talks about cost averaging. Seriously. Average I mean, dude, you get, so what, what usually happens is you first, the shorts go broke and then the longs go broke. Dude, it's so freaking true, man. It's look so look true. at the pets, man. It was freaking $18 this morning. Right now it's five bucks. Bro, isn't that crazy? And this, and this could go down to three for all we know. Like the point is guys, if you're just adding blindly to one side, whether it's long on the way up in front side or it's, or I'm sorry, if it's short on the way up in front side or it's long on the way in backside, like this is complete backside. That's not a plan. This is, these are account enders. Like these are not things you want to do. The number one thing that we teach at MIC is stop trying to be a hero. Stop playing against trend. The trend fighters, the guys that are like, dude, I'm the biggest dick in town. I'm going to long, 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 long. And then I'm going to bolt like quote unquote bully this stock, right? Like the guys, the short sellers who have million dollar accounts on SCKT yesterday, you cannot bully stocks forever. You can do it once or twice. And then guess what, dude? One day it absolutely smokes you and the algo rips a new one right up your butt. So the whole point is the number one thing that we teach guys is learn how to ride trend. And the way to do that is through the lines to know which side you're on, to play time-based trading, to know things like zombie hour, to know that in reversal hour at 2 PM Eastern, actually shorts have the edge for an hour. So long should ease off the gas pedal. Like there are certain identifiers that we teach every single day with live commentary that is going to show you when to push, when to ease off the gas pedal and when to just bail entirely. Like I do not trade after 10 30 and i was telling i was telling the guys here about i was like dude if pets did this move in the morning because this was my pre-market lines right bro i would have hit the shit out of this but this was in zombie hour and i don't trade zombie hour so yes it still followed the lines that i like but i'm not going to be a hero right i'm gonna i'm gonna do my process and then what was another one cnet today that was another good one man this hit the lines perfectly in the morning man right here Right before zombie hour, you caught a nice move. Val, I saw you catch me. It was a little late in the day for me, but I saw you catch this right here. That was nice. And again, guys, again, where do I always draw my lines, man? The previous tops, where, and then to the next top, the next point of interest. Uh, do you guys have any questions for us? Any questions at all? Done by 1030. Ha ha. You guys will have to walk me through what you do for the rest of the day as well. <laughs> well, dude, Brian, if you knew the level of PMs and emails we had, we, we get through every single day, you'll know where we're at. <laughs> we are not trading all day, bro. Well, maybe Bao is, but he's uh, got 20 years of experience and none of us are trying to follow that lineage. Uh, I really don't want to trade. I trade to educate you guys, to be honest. I'd rather just walk <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I, I got to keep you guys safe, educate, and I'm having fun educating you guys. Well, and that's another thing, guys. You do realize that after yesterday on SCKT, you do realize Bao made all of his money in the morning and stayed all day so he could keep you guys safe on not shorting this, right? So when you guys are like, dude, there's a top at 25, he's like, dude, no, you idiot. No, 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 no. Like, this is not a top, bro. Stop shorting something this crazy, right? Yeah, so many people blew up yesterday. I mean, the, the, the formation, the, the deviation from VWAP, those, those are the things that only, I mean, I, I, I hate saying only we know, but 
only we know. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least only apply. <laughs> Fuck, because I mean, I'm, I'm just like, if, because if I'm looking at other places, that they, I mean, dude, it's a screaming do not short. You know, when I was an amateur short back in the day, I used to want to short everything because it was up too much. And that's how you blow up, guys. Now, I'm going to post it for you right now, buddy, so they know what you're talking about, that deviation from BWAP, because it was so uh, pertinent on SEKT. <coughs> Let me post this for you. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't post that. That's too powerful. No, it's too good? Here, I'll take it down. <laughs> yeah, it's way too good. Was like, that's that's too good. Guys. Uh, but my whole point is, guys, I mean, this this is what you, you are paying for. You're not paying to just learn lines. You're paying for the experience of how to use the lines with the proper context to make money. That, that's, that's what it is. People yep. all know what VWAP is, but how the hell do you use VWAP to make money? And you know what? Everyone saw VWAP yesterday, but still a lot of people blew up shorting, you know? But then if you know how to use VWAP, you would know that, hey, you know, there's, there's no fucking way Schwartz is ever going to make money in the morning because it's too deviated. And so that's why I went all along in the morning, every single bounce. You saw that. So even a short seller like me realizes, hey, man, this, this guy is like the fucking Mike Tyson in prime. <laughs> in his prime. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to wait for Mike Tyson to fucking be old, right? Bro, <laughs> have you seen old, Mike Tyson I, lately, though? He could still make us look like freaking twigs. <laughs> and that's why I'm going to nail a bell, hit him in the back when he's not looking and run away. So and Bell's going to throw a rock in his head and duck and dodge. <laughs> But that, that's the only way, man. I mean, dude, why would you fight Mike, T Mike Tyson in his prime, right? That, that's the analogy I like to give, man. Wait for Mike Tyson to tire out because he's beating up a thousand other kids. You know? <laughs> Bro, I'm not even him. trying to fight Logan Paul in his prime. <laughs> Jake Paul. Dude. <laughs> Askren. Dude, it, it, it's, it's just crazy, guys. Like, the rules are here. It, I, I, I hate to say this every week, and it's so cliche, but, dude, I have to say it. It is so simple, guys. If you understand price action and front side and back side, it's never going to be easy because, look, you are risking money for a living. You should strap on your trading diaper every day because you might need it or the defibrillator. But I'm telling you right now, guys, you can simplify this to a level of sometimes, dude, it is two plus two equals four, man. And when this happened yesterday, you know, my whole identifier is the death candle for backside. When this didn't have one death candle and this is making highs like that, I mean, just look at this as if it was real time. Where the F do you see a, sh a short in this, dude? You're crazy. It's front side. All the longs are in control, man. On something like this, you wait for today to do the shorts on day two. And this is the stuff that we teach. It's like two plus two equals four, but you see millions of dollar accounts getting blown up yesterday because everybody wants to bring their bias into it. And everybody thinks they're the big dick. And the SMA 50 said this to the algo and the algo said this to the reach around. And it's like, what? Dude, keep it simple, man. We're trying to protect your accounts and show you guys how to supplement and replace your income every day for the next hundred years, bro. Not to be a one hit wonder for two years and then you're gone. So, oh, I don't know why I just thought about this, Bal, but dude, yesterday marked the 25th anniversary for Happy Gilmore, the Adam Sandler movie. And dude, him and Shooter McGavin, the actors, did like a homage to it and went to the golf course and were playing like in their character. And I was like, dude, think about that. After 25 years, this still stands the test of time. Guys, that's the point. After 25 years, we still want you to be doing the same process that makes you money every day. Why do you think Bow's here two decades later teaching the same shit? Because it works. Nothing better to do. <laughs> Because it works, bro. And he's stubborn. <laughs> and he's consistent. <laughs> bro, you're dead. <laughs> that was so funny. He's like, you're dead, Shooter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can check it out on their Twitter. It's hilarious. Dude, um, Shooter looks hella old. Bro. <laughs> bro, I was looking at him. I was like, oh, shit. Shooter actually looks dead. <laughs> <laughs> bro, with, with white guys, man, if you're Caucasian, bro, because I'm Caucasian, man, it's a hit or a miss, bro. It's 60 years old. You either look 140 or you look like 60. And Shooter looks like 170. I didn't know you were Caucasian, Tosh. You didn't know I was Caucasian, man? What's a – oh, man, I thought it was a dead giveaway. <laughs> Well, technically, I'm all of Eastern Europe, so I'm Europe. I'm like a mutt, dude. I'm five percent of everything in the rainbow, bro. All right. Any questions, guys? <laughs> Only half of them do, Mike Tran. <laughs> 
you Asians, dude, we're keeping up with you and freaking Dow, who looks 20 at whatever, 40, dude. I'm telling you, you guys are ridiculous, man. The, the alcohol preserves me, bro. No, it doesn't, dude. Your Asian genes are perfection, dude. I see the girlfriends. You freaking your girlfriends who are 43 look like they're 18, dude. It's ridiculous. It's not fucking fair, man. <laughs> they're actually 18, Tosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, no, dude, they're barely legal. <laughs> they're actually 18, but. Oh, legal. shit, that's your secret. <laughs> And maybe they're so young, bro, that the young energy keeps you young. See, Bao just gave away his whole secret, dude. All right, let's take some questions. Um, Can you talk about greed versus capitalizing on an opportunity? Ooh, Bao loves this one, man. Greed, greed is when you made money, but you want to make more money. Capitalizing opportunity when you see an opportunity, then you size up that opportunity. So greed comes after the fact. You know, no one's ever greedy until they made something, but they didn't make enough, right? It's not like you, you didn't trade it all today. You come in, I want to be fucking greedy today. No, you come in the day, you, you do your process, and then you start making money, and you realize, oh, fuck, I should have sized up. And so you do the makeup trade. So that's greed. Um, if you want to be greedy, be greedy on the fucking first trade. Because usually your first trade is the day of the, are the trades that, that you plan out. Yep. Okay. And then, then the moment you start making money, that's when all shit goes to hell guys. So psychology works like this. Very simple, right? When, when you, you do all the things the right way the first time, and you're actually very timid the first time, but then when you start making money, you become overconfident, you use the cushion game, and then you get greedy. So capitalizing well, on an opportunity means knowing that the situation is an A plus setup and you pounce on it. Greed is saying, fuck, I should have loaded up on the last set, uh, um, set up, but since I missed, I'm going to make up for this one and I'm going to fucking like, you know, do something I should ha not have done. So that's, that's the difference. Dude. I love that. And bow to, to kind of reiterate on that guys, when it comes to even a percentage level on size or what you're using in your account, why do you think we have something like 30% size over VWAP? Because that's not greedy. That's doing starters. That's putting your feet in the water and like dipping your toes in the water. And then once you get a massive crack under VWAP, you can quote unquote be in the money and push harder because it's not greed at that point. You did something that is fluid and then it paid you and showed you what you should be pushing when the iron's hot. So we also have that when it comes to like sizing, dude, it, it, there's, there's greed versus just straight process. And when the opportunity arises, dude, you you got to push, but in a smart manner, obviously with process. This is why, this is why you can be a little bit um, more patient once it's extreme backside on your shorts and under view off, right? Like if you see Bow's charts, man, on the way up, so like SCKT or something like that, if he was shorting certain outside first resistance levels, he is covering on washes because front side, you know, shorts require front side covers. He's not being greedy. He's like, dude, I only want to get this little move that I quote unquote expect it to do. But if backside kicks in heavily, he can push when the iron's hot. He's not being greedy because greed on something like that, that's not backside is going to rip his ass. And then he's going to do it. His stop loss is going to go off. But when it's in full backside way under VWAP and stuff, he can be more patient and thus, you know, hold because the iron is hot. He's not being greedy. He's actually playing smart, right? Just remember the first time a setup happens is the, it's usually the best the second trade is usually not going to work as well as the first trade. Yeah, dude, that's the Bible right there. Um, how do you set a target that is not greedy? How to decide the term price? Well, I think we kind of took that, but um, um, lines, pick your line, take the money. Would you recommend newer longs to keep hot chicks on screens throughout the day, even if it's backside, just to see the price action? Dude, it, it keep keep everything on your screens in the beginning to understand price action. You guys actually have to see these moves, but if you don't feel like you can control yourself, lock the montage, call your broker, tell them you can't trade that day and you're just looking. But you should be watching these moves, man, to understand price action for sure. All of them. Um, Reed always kills. Let's see what, I, I think there were some questions earlier or some uh, topics for discussion about. Let me, let me kind of scroll up real quick and see what we got. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. There's so many comments. I don't know. You might, you guys might have to repost your questions or, <laughs> or freaking. let's see. I'm trying to find, let's see. Should we, we got yes. You, oh, you don't want free shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just here for free lifetime giveaways. <laughs> 
<laughs> They're like, who's giving a quarterly today? <laughs> okay, Bell, I got a couple right here. Um, how to tell when attention is shifting from a hot chick. Is that too good for a free webinar or you want to talk about that? How do you tell if attention is shifting from a hot chick? Like basically the money current, man. Should we talk about that? Well, that's the thing, man. People talk about money flow and stuff. I, I mean, you, you, if you, if you guess wrong, it's like chi reading Chinese, right? What I usually do is just, all you need to do is look at the lines, man. If it starts breaking down, making, um, lower highs, you know, just basic stuff like that. Don't try to guess that money's flowing from one stock to another. You, I mean, that is good for hindsight in my opinion, but if you, if you guess that and the lines don't match up and you're guessing and speculating because of the fact you think money's flowing out, I think you're, you're setting yourself up for disaster. So what I do is I just do my normal lines, right? How do you know that the hot check's over? Well, when this VWAP is broken, when it's starting to make a new low, things like that. Not, not necessarily the, oh, because I saw a new stock come up and it's being pumped. And you no, know, that, that to me is more spec speculation than reality. Yeah, it's, it, there's like a fine line between being ready for the money current to shift and giving into anticipation versus just your confirmation. Like Bao said, it's like, dude, you will be short that stock until VWAP is breached and you stop out and you don't be stupid. And then you just know that you made the right decision because bro, now it's now you can see the money flowing into that stock. Like, of course, like you would, you would get out of it, right? So that just helps your, that just helps your conviction to like, dude, obey that stop loss, seriously. Bow, another, um, some, Erwin uh, posted your comment where it said, I love this, man. These markets are very unforgiving when you're wrong and you need to have very tight with your risk management and play, uh, any play long or short you can blow up on. Do you want to kind of like talk about the range in these? I, I kind of did a little bit earlier, but like how beneficial it is to not be early and actually wait for your lines in this type of market with so much freaking range, man. Look at Ebon, pull up Ebon, E-B-O-N. E-B-O-N? Oh, oh shit, shit, I just covered it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're trading, bro. How are you doing all this at once? <laughs> dude, that, Bell's got clones, dude. I'm telling you, I tell you every week. Bell's got like five clones out there just doing shit randomly. All right, here, I'm going to post my Ebon. Here we go. Hold on a second. Live trading Ebon with Bell. <laughs> I mean, just look, look at this fucking range, guys. This is what I mean by range. Look at this shit. If you are chasing the stock at the low, you're fucked. Yep. So in these markets, it's better to miss than it is to freaking chase, guys. Because look at this. You think this stock is broken. It walked all the way back. Jesus. Yeah, that, that's a really drastic move back, man. Seriously, that walked all the way back up to highs. These pre-market, or these, I mean, sorry, these previous high, these, these pre-morning highs. So what I did was I waited for it to go back to the line. If you draw the line, I'm just scaling each line. And then I covered, you saw that, and then I waited again for it to walk back up to the outer line. Dude, that's so I, key. And I scaled out. Bro, you're, you're waiting for all these tops, dude. Guys, look where the tops are. That's where the reshort is if you are reshorting. Remember, I give a warning every single day for two and a half years. When it is zombie time, size down to protect, Use much outer lines and hard stops. Why do you think I say much outer lines? Because things can walk back up like this. Thou is using the outermost lines. Right here is where the tops start forming. See his entries? There's no coincidence that they're matching up with these tops. I, I, am, you, I am sizing down in these markets and using wider stops. I mean, that's the way the to do range. it. Because, dude, these ranges are huge. I mean, yeah. if you're, you're taking 10 cents stops you're fucked because these things are moving 50 cents oh man if you do 10 cent stops in this market bro you won't have a winning trade seriously i mean you would have to top tick everything and that's almost impossible in a market with this kind of range so that's <laughs> that why I mean like range. Beer. You, you want to trade a stock with a lot of range so it doesn't take much size for you to make money if, if you can make 50 cents on the move yep and guys remember what i said 
front side shorts require front side covers because this is being walked up. This is kind of a front side move again, right? So Bao is not looking to, again, what we talked about earlier, he's not looking to get quote unquote greedy. He knows that there's an expected move in here on washes with a nice cover. But if this went back under 920 or nine, he might be more patient with his exits, but he knows, he knows that this is all he's probably going to get out of the move. So he takes it. That is not greed. That is calculated risk. That is process. That's the difference between greed and process. You see the difference? Is a perfect example for that. Dude, yeah, that was really well done. Sometimes the charts look ugly, guys, but you know, there's a method to the madness. I, I'm just using small size instead of having one big bullet and holding it and praying. These markets, I mean, dude, yeah, I mean, they have no, I have no idea what some of these stocks would do, to be honest. Like, you think Ebon is dead? It walked all the way back to high day. I mean, shit like that. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be very careful. Use hard stops when you want to. I'm sizing small, you know, so I, I, I don't need to stop out because I, 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 I would stop out if the high of day breaks. Correct. So I'm already sizing to a point where, you know, I'm taking covers along the way. You know that. I'm not, I'm not just holding and praying. Or else that'd be greed. Yep. There, there, exactly. are, there are many ways to trade, guys. There's many ways to trade. So look well, at like, L-O-D-E, man. L-O-D-E. -L let's I mean, take a look at load. Dude. Take a that load thing, off. That, that, oh, that, shit. That thing first killed all of the fucking shorts, and then it killed all the longs I held. Bro, that's crazy. People were anticipating this to be like a super hot chick today and continue and continue because they saw SCKT yesterday, right? But man, once this really put in this death candle through VWAP in the morning, I mean, Alex and, you know, me were calling it, dude, on pops, this was the way to go because dude, look at this moment. Think about if you were along. Seriously, think of, now this is a three minute chart so you can see it a little more clearly, but bro, you're long this stock in intraday and this happens? Yikes, dude, that's a $3 candle. Dude, two and a half at least. That's not a moment to be confident in the long. And then, dude, Alex was hitting here. His charts are in chat. And then, boom, it was, it was off to the races for the shorts all day after that. And again, guys, again, you can be a little bit more patient or I hate that word convicted, but, but you can be a little bit more confident in your short because now it's under VWAP. This is what we teach every single day. You know, if it was over VWAP 30%, you can size in a little bit more. And that is how we do it. That's, but longs, you need to be freaking careful, bro. The second this drops heavy under VWAP and, and the pops are getting sold off, you cannot just add, add, and add. And look at the volume. Even the volume's tapering off. Like, look at this downturn in volume all the way up to here. And they got, yeah, a decent pop, but it's so far under VWAP. And like we talked about, the deviation that's so far under here that on a pop, even with volume, it's not probably going to break through heavily because, dude, the deviation is so drastic, right? You have to use it both ways. Long and short. I posted the CNET for you as well. Uh, CNET, let's take a look. I mean, th th look at these ranges. It's just insane. One sec, Val. Here we go. Yeah, dude, seriously, look at this walk back. God, these were my morning levels. That's just if crazy. You, if, you, if you size up, you're fucked. <laughs> for real. You know, you have to take advantage of the range. So these are the things that if you, when, when you're, be, so this is like poker guys, when you're starting to play poker for the first time, every single bet is the same size, regardless of your hand, right? So as you become more experienced, you vary your bets according to your hand. Same thing with trading. It's the setups, right? So if, if an A plus setup comes, this is when the question comes about capitalizing on opportunity versus greed. Greed is trying to make something more than what it is. Um, capitalize, so, so if you have pocket aces, that's pretty damn good. So you should capitalize on the opportunity, right? Versus greed is when you, you, you know, you're, you're milking the guy and you have a shitty hand and you're still bluffing him all the way, right? You're adding and adding and you get killed. Um, same thing with trading guys you have to understand how strong your setup is and take advantage of the the range but look at this man i mean this thing went from five bucks to 550 good thing I'm <laughs> Val, I dude i love how long we've been trading together that i can just see your entries and know exactly what you're thinking it's like 
Bow gets in right here and starts scaling here because of these resistance points and tops that have been put in. He starts scaling this because this top is already put in. And then he starts scaling right here because this top was put in, adding up to here because he's using, using this and covering front side washes. <laughs> it's like, I'm telling yeah. you, man, this is not rocket science. And, bro, and each, I'm going to give you a tip. Uh, each stock has a personality. So CNAG loves to go up a bunch and then boom, it washes really quickly down. So those are the type of stocks that I don't mind scaling. But if a stock doesn't fucking give me a chance to scale down uh, to get out, then those are the ones that, you, that kill you in the morning, like, like the low floaters, right? So always yep. check the float. Always check the float. Always check the float. Always check all your due diligence as and, much as and you can. And to be matter. honest, I'm shorting this. I didn't fucking realize the time. I thought it was reversal time. <laughs> it's fucking yeah, three o'clock. I broke the rule. I'm going to cancel all of my open orders right now, guys. Bro, I'm calling Alex on you. I'm calling Alex. Calling so all thought, Alexes. So I thought it was, you know, reversal time. So I'm going to, I'm going to cancel all my orders. Um, you, you notice after 3 o'clock, look what happened, dude. It spiked up from 520 to 560. Well, specifically with this, it's like the thing that I see right now, Bao, is, dude, these – the, it, not only is it, you know, the, the last hour of the day where, where shorts lose the edge, when you see this kind of volume matching the, the most volume of the day in the morning, guys, this could be trouble, man. It's over VWAP. It's got the same. It's, this is why we have the rules, man. No shorting yep. after 3.30, 3 o'clock. Be fucking careful. So if someone asks, is there a zombie hour for the afternoon? This is, you're looking at the zombie hour right now. <laughs> Freaking Alex. Dude, on cue, bro. On cue. <laughs> this is for education. I <laughs> <laughs> right, dude. <laughs> Alex was taking a shit and he heard you were trading and he gets off the toilet and comes running. <laughs> I'm doing this for education, Alex. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, I was going to slap you, back. I was just going to come all the way to freaking Cali, bro. I, I could have I gotten in really trouble with CNET. I, I fucking uh, I covered at 538, guys. $5.38. I'm fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, Alex made so much money today. He's going to hop on a private jet just to fly to Cali to make sure you're not shorting. I was else. trying to catch up to Alex. There's no way I catched up to Alex today. <laughs> CNET, I made 1700 on CNET. So that little trade there. But, Very nice, pal. Um, Very nice. And see how it's going? Dude, perfect. Perfect, man. Realize it's the last hour of the day. Realize the volume's coming in. Shorts are losing all look, look at CNET, day. guys. It's older. Look, look at CNET. I've covered at $5.38 fucking cents. Wait, wait, did you post? Yeah, let, let me uh, let me let me show you again. Oh, look at this one, dude. I saw it. It's so I'm, sick, I'm dude. I'll show you the prints too. Hold on. Yeah, let's see everything. We we take Venmo 10%, by the way. Cash out. Yeah. <laughs> dude, the moment I saw 330 coming, I'm like, I'm done. Notice that I covered at 538. I looked at the fucking clock. I go, oh shit, I fucked up. And immediately it spiked to 560, dude. These rules are gold, guys. Wait, no, we, we have this rule about the 330 rule, 3 p.m. If the stock is strong, 330, what happens is the shorts that are stuck are looking to cover. And that's why you're getting these squeezes at the end of the day. No, we need to start having these webinars an hour earlier so you're never shorting too late. Seriously, dude, last time I, I forgot, I, I was covering shit after hours. <laughs> I have a real, dude. Time, I remember. But, um, but there you go. You have it. See, yeah, knowing, the, knowing these rules saved my ass. Why guys, we keep talking about ass, guys. Let's not talk about ass. Save my, <laughs> yeah, too, too much save my wallet. <laughs> do you guys have any questions for us on this matter alone specifically? Do you guys understand what we just talked about? Any questions? Is your front row ticket to see Bow Trade? <laughs> oh, the E bond was a long order I did on the bounce. Oh, let me see. No, no, no. I, I actually overcovered. <laughs> oh, no. How much you got? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> e bond, did that show you my. Dude, I did that yesterday. I, I did that yesterday. I overcovered something. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. How so do you know good. when it's a top? Bow, you want to take this one? It was the e bond. Oh, uh, how do you know when it's a top? The fuck kind of question. If I knew that, bro, I'd be fucking the richest man in the world. <laughs> Dude, if we knew that, we'd have private islands. But one of the best things that I use for my trading is a death candle. I like, so like, I'll just give you an example. Uh, what was it? Low today? The way I know how I'm going to comfortably start getting in and not like, 
you know, need the defibrillator and shitting my trailer diaper. It's these kind of candles, man. When these candles happen, I am on pops with a risk at the top of those candles, like I talk about almost every webinar, right? Like this is my bread and butter. So if this was pure front side or just minimal front side like this starting to be come open, if this happens, now I have defined risk because it's so much more comfortable. This was a moment where longs were like, oh shit, dude, maybe this wasn't the, maybe this wasn't the next do, Jeff do, Bezos do, Amazon. Do you know how you know the top? You know the top when it fucking already happened. The only way you know what the, the top happened, it was in hindsight. Exactly. You, Seriously. You, you fucking never know 100% in real time, okay? Uh, if you want to chase and guess and you get the top and you're fucking happy, you're not going to make much money because you yep. have a very small size cherry picking the top. You broke all the fucking rules, shorting the front side. And the next time you think that you're good and you know you can spot the top, SCKT comes in. Bingo. You know how many times someone called the top on SCKT well, look yesterday? This. Look at this. SCKT. Pull up, up yesterday. Dude, people small, thought this was dude. a top. People thought this was a top. People thought this was a top. And people thought this was a top, dude. Seriously, all day. You know, that, that's, that's the problem. When you, when you fucking break a rule and you make money, it's usually the minimum. It's only bragging rights. You say, oh, you top tick that shit. But then when you lose, you fucking, you know, <laughs> that, <laughs> you're fucking dead. So the, the way you spot the top is to, to let the top form. That's why we keep talking about all the time in chat, guys. Wait for the top to be set. Absolutely. The top is set, usually signaled by a death candle. If you don't know what the death candle is, go into our video. A 10 cents move down is not a death candle, okay? No. Okay? So when you see the death candle or when you see a top set and it's, you know, the stock is walking down, that's the top. Now you can, if you want to short, this is what I do, is I wait for the bounce and to short on the bounce up to that top. Because, because now what happens is this. I use this analogy a lot, guys. You don't want to be the guy, the Christopher Columbus that comes over and gets fucking eaten because you're trying to make the map for the next set of guys, right? I want to be the fucking second or third dude that comes over, you know, and with already an established map, a fucking nice bed that someone fucking put up for me, a tent, you know? He's like, dude, <laughs> food. this is Cannibal Island. <laughs> Seriously, man, well, you, this top business, guys, this is how people go broke. I like to post it sometimes because it's fucking fun. And the reason I get these tops, okay, when you see me getting tops, it's, very, it's because it's either the whole or half number or I pull up a long-term chart, I draw the line, then I put a fantasy order well before it came, and then when it came, it hit me. Bro, it's not me guessing real time what the fuck top is Be i've already done my due diligence and technical analysis well before it got there just like the first bounce how do we know all the bottoms of the first bounce for SCKT? i nailed every single bottom right guys well before it came the only reason you guys didn't get entered is you didn't trust the lines i trusted my lines i put that order out well before it came like probably over a dollar before it came and then when it came it was so fast it hit me and it bounced instantaneously. Yep. Be careful about being Christopher Columbus for a cannibalism island, dude. So here's the thing, guys. Remember what Bal was talking about. He made famous, dude. It's called the deviation from VWAP. If you think this is the top up here and it's that far away from VWAP, there's usually about an 80% chance for sure that it's not the top because look how far above VWAP it is, dude. This is a deviation. You need death candles and you don't want it to be this far away from VWAP. Bow was hitting first bounces all day on this bitch. That is your guide. And yes, we are giving away way too much for this free webinar. <laughs> Bow, dude, we are not posting this webinar, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. So, any questions, guys? Every week we do this, guys. Every week I ask the same question. Why are the guys that are watching this on YouTube not in MIC? I want How to could you not be? Little, uh, since you know you guys asked me questions, I would love to ask you so that we can help by making MIC better. So that you know, what are we missing? Is it because you're cheap? Two the bucks is too much. Or you rather lose it ten times fold on dumb plays? You'd rather have a fucking free Gucci belt with every fucking membership or what? I mean, oh, shout I, out I, to I, Gucci belt, baby. <laughs> I can get you. I can get you a bunch of ten dollars ones from Vietnam, you know. Dude, no, 
no, no. The last time we got clothes made from Vietnam, bro, was the MIC t-shirts. No. <laughs> Dow still got like a thousand extra small. <laughs> Dude, I, don- I, do- I donated those. So what happened was funny, man. Here's a little, little tip. <laughs> A uh, size large in Asia is actually a size small for, for Americans. <laughs> Bro, so when we got small and mediums from Vietnam for MIC shirts, like the first production MIC shirts, bro, they were made for like a 10-year-old child. <laughs> yep. Size is great. Oh, my God, dude. You remember that about two and a half years ago, bro? <laughs> you actually went there to get it done. And I was like, fuck, dude. Came back like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my God, man. We've had so many good times together, man. There's so many more to come, guys. We, I, I, know, I know we say this a lot, dude, but we're barely starting, bro. We're two and a half years in. This is just the beginning, man. <laughs> all these guys asking these questions, we have all videos, guys. How do you know the top? How do you reclaim BWAP? I just don't understand. You, you yep. pay. We have a watch list. I mean, you, you, you just follow the watch list. The membership pays for itself. I just, I just do not understand. This is what I'm seriously asking. Like, is it, a, is, it what, is it what we're doing incorrectly? Or is it because people are just too cheap or, or ego to join? Or just kind of like, can we give too much free information away? Is that well, it? You know what? No. Can we, can Bell, we, I, we I stop have... fucking giving free shit, Tosh? Bell, I, re- I remember this. You know what? Let me, let me say something on this because I remember this. Number one, the, for the guys that are still asking really, 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 um, you know, simple questions, guys, you're just not making this your best friend. It's as simple as that. You've got to go to the video library. You've got to use their search feature. We have a video on everything. Second, if you have, I know this thought process because I used to be this thought process six years ago, man. I know who the guys aren't signing up. They've got enough money in their account. They're right near PDT. Maybe they get a $5,000 account or they're just on PDT. And they're like, dude, I can't join MIC because I'm, I'm going to be, I'm right there at PDT or this and that. How do you guys expect to trade without getting education? Dude, I was this guy six years ago. I was like, bro, I can't invest in education. I can't buy a $1,000 DVD or a course or whatever, because I'm, I'm going to drop under PDT six years ago. Hey, I'm Todd, gonna- just show them. The jumpstart again, because seriously, if you must buy something, buy this jumpstart. This will oh, yeah, seriously. Save, this will save you years. There's stuff in there you probably never even know unless you freaking someone showed you. So that's so, the thing with learning on your own. Like, how do you even know what to learn unless someone tells you? So guys, right now I've gotten so much demand for this over the last month. I've actually started to create some custom deals on the back end. I'm talking an initial month in MIC and the accelerator course for a very reduced rate and even a custom quarterly rate of three months in this. So if you guys want information on that, just text me at my business line. But I'm telling you right now, man, as Bao just said, this is not something we created, dude, to then have, you know, part two and three and four and five and six, bro. This is everything in a nutshell of all of our setups, all of our psychology, everything. If you learned one thing today in, in this webinar, one thing, I, I'm telling you a hundred times over more information is in this course because it took six months to create. It is seven and a half hours of the most direct extracted information from our video library that you need is not regurgitated. It is everything you need. It is going to help you go from inconsistency to consistency or not profitable to very well on the way to profitable. That's the thing, man. You you can either scour the internet for stuff that you think will make you money, like indicators. Don't get me started on indicators. Or you, I mean, dude, you have to learn how to trade properly, guys. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, it's like me trying to figure out how to do heart surgery on my own. I mean, what, what the fuck, right? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even know that I would need uh, like, dude, like, dude, like a heart. fucking like forceps or some shit, right? I'm, I'm fucking using my fucking chopsticks to fucking operate or something, right? <laughs> dude, I mean, after a bottle of Hennessy. <laughs> so that's the thing. I mean, you don't know what you don't know until someone tells you that you don't know it, guys. And then you're like, and then you're like, man, I didn't know I, shit. I, I, I tell you this, not because we need this fucking little more money it's because what the most difficult part of trading for someone that's not profitable is unlearning all the bad habits you have. So I'd rather you guys get started brand new with the proper foundation so that you don't have to unlearn. Taking time to unlearn is two times longer than it is to learn it. Bad habits are fucking very, very hard to break. So for all the guys who are not joining because I need to make the money first, quote unquote, I need to make the money first and then I can invest my education. Guys, 
you have no idea how bad of a decision that is. And we're not even just talking about for MIC, man. We're talking about for your educational uh, background into, you know, going forward in stocks. Because again, Bao just said it, dude, do you have any fucking idea how hard it is to break a bad habit versus coming in with fresh eyes? Oh my the word, God. The worst, is when, the worst is when people start to make money and they think it's the proper way to make money and not because they fucking got lucky. You know what I'm saying? Look at the guys with holding GME diamond hands. They're at diamond hands work on the way up. Now they're fucking doing it. Yeah, seriously. They, they got amputated, right? It's fucking like gangrene and shit. Frost guys, guys, your your brain, dude, you got you to gotta Google this, man. You got to look into the psychology of how your brain actually works, dude. They're called neuropathways. When you look up something over and over and over and actually implement it, so like you're trading and clicking those trades, you are literally building neuropathways, aka bad habits, if you're losing or not consistent or don't know the lines or don't know the price action, that are so impressionable and actually only almost physical remnants in your brain that are going to be so hard to like, you know, as Bao said, the surgeon, take out with chopsticks and, and remove, dude. It's better to go in with fresh eyes than to ever build the neural pathways for anything that is going to harm your, uh, you know, your journey thus, thus forward. Well, but I'm no doctor. <laughs> Any more questions? I should lead with that. I'm no doctor. <laughs> Only in bed. <laughs> Not today. I play one. I play one in the bedroom. <laughs> Wait, what? You <laughs> say so you play one in the bedroom with it. Oh, I'm a doctor somewhere <laughs> on my Trinder profile. <laughs> All right, guys. Anything else? We were getting kind of uh, PG twenty one <laughs> jokes now, dude. Without Joe, man, we are like ten percent, you know, as X rated as we I, usually I need, are. I need Tay to, I need Tay to come back. And monitor us. <laughs> yeah, calling all HRs. Calling all HRs. <laughs> Any questions, oh, guys? Shit. Guys, closing questions. Anything closing, really quick. Yeah, while you have it out with myself, Bounty. If, if you're, you're, if you're interested about joining, guys, text Gosh. I want to put the number up again. He's right here. You, he's gonna give you a great deal today. That's pretty much it. I don't. I don't like keep beating the dead horse. Um, you're gonna end up either joining later when you're broke, or, or rather, learn learn now early, right, guys? It usually happens, man. I always hear guys come back and go, you know what, man? You were right. I fucking, I made money. I lost it all back. And they're asking me for a fucking discount. I'm like, dude. I know, dude. The last <laughs> thing is like, oh, man, Bow, sorry, man. I joined chat room XYZ and I lost all my money, but can you help me for free now? It's like, bro, come on. <laughs> I, I, got, I, I got that two times yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Bow got to the point where he's like, I think people just waste my time. They just want to actually just talk to me and see what I eat for lunch. I'm like, like that's Seriously, man, if you want to fucking talk to me, join man for 197 bucks. You learn and you just talk to me. There's all these guys who text me stupid stuff. I mean, dude. <laughs> and guys, let me, re let me rectify this really quick so you don't make this stupid habit because I remember back when I was starting to talk about five, six years ago, whatever it was, never start a conversation with Modern Rock. Hi, or can I ask you a question? Just ask your fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. It's like the pet peeve of pet peeves. It's can like, I ask you a question? Yeah, of course, dude. You just asked me the first question by asking, then, can I ask you a question? And they go, but this is personal. Is it okay? <laughs> then you have a two part two parter, right? Can I ask you? Can I really ask you? you sure, you're not gonna get mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> For real, dude. And never mind. Third, never mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> and then the third question always ends up with, "Did you get my dick pic?" <laughs> like, oh, shit. I don't know what that cost. You've been talking about that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe that was just me then. <laughs> Where's Tay when you need her? Dude, you guys are awesome, man. I can't wait to do that. Yeah, did you join my OnlyFans yet? Bro, this is so educational. I know you guys are showing up for freaking free lifetimes, man. You're getting free education on Wednesdays. But here's what we're going to do, man. We're going to keep educating you as best we can. Do not invest in your education after you've built bad habits. I repeat, do not invest in your education after you've built bad habits. You want to come in as fresh and as green, quote unquote green, as possible so you can get more green, <laughs> right? Yes, sir. sir. Guys, text my line. Me and Bao got to go grab lunch, answer the rest of our PMs, do everything that we can help you guys. But we also got to nourish our bodies and eat too. Look at CNET. Look at CNET. Oh, shit. Dude, you really made money. I told you. Hold I told up, bro. You. I told, oh, dude, I told you, man. The elevated volume is coming in, bro. Uh, I look at the rules, guys. Our rules fucking work. Look at the time that it fucking jumped off, man. I covered nice covers, it at, bro. Nice I covers. I covered at fucking 320. Right here. 
Nice covers, Bob. Nice 38. Cover. I covered the fucking dead low because you screamed at me. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? So that's what having a tab is. That's what following the rules are, guys. Yep. And because you followed your rules, we can cancel Alex's flight directly to Kelly so he can scold you. We can cancel that flight now. Yep. So we'll see you back in the room, guys. All right, guys. See you, Val. That was fun, man. See you guys. All right. Thanks, Josh.